Okay, the idea is that I wanted students to be old scale models to understand the principles of similarity. And so what we have done is we created scale models of some of the tallest buildings in the world. And I'm going to show you some pictures and then these ladies, we did these way back in October and they haven't even thought about it since October. So it's going to be kind of a test to see what they remember. All right, uh, I click it. I don't know what I'm doing. How do you click it? Well, I did. All right, well, what I'm going to do first of all is, uh, there it is. Well, okay, we started out, I'm going to go to this sign. <laughs> we started out with, a, I got a scale model of the Eiffel Tower. And you can kind of look at where we're taking the measuring tape. And we were trying to construct right, right, construct right triangles. And one of the neat things that happened is that if you look right here, when they first constructed it, they were not in the center of the base of, that, of the Eiffel Triangle. And so we talked about with this group the flaw that they would actually have to slide that all the way into the middle to create that right triangle here. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show them how right triangles are used in the real world. I wanted them to understand angles of elevation and angles of depression, and I wanted them to understand scale models. And so those were my objectives. Um, who's got the clicker? Okay, great. You can see where we were measuring angles. Go ahead, click. Who's got it? You do. You just keep doing it. Notice. Notice we moved it on the inside. And if you guys, any of you work with polygons, you know how difficult it is for them to imagine that that right triangle is created by going in the center of that base at the bottom and that the hypotenuse when you're creating that. So that's what we were trying to do. All right, click. I don't, you click. All right, this is uh, the detail of the Birch, Birch Caliph. And these girls are going to talk about theirs, so hold those batteries for me. And we're going to talk about what we bought. You hold this for me. All right. Hold the bottom of the Burj Khalifa up so they can see that. Just turn it sideways so they can see the base. It's supposed to be triangles. So the student, the process, the students, and they're going to talk more in just one minute, is that they were assigned a building. They were put into groups, and they had to research the building. And they had to find certain measurements, how it was constructed, and they had to reconstruct it. And I will tell you, I thought I've bitten off more than I can handle. Um, this is called my dysfunctional group, and this is really good, and it's one of my favorites. And they actually didn't finish in time, did they? So in there, because they were judged. So in theirs, they put a sign that says under construction, because what happened is that they were trying really hard to create. If you look, each of these buildings is really trying to imitate the actual construction that was used in the real world mod or the real world building. And so this one was created with like trapezoidal regions. And so they struggled. They first of all used construction paper and then they used boulders and they actually tried to cut out that shape. And then they played around with creating you can come up here and look at it. And it's really a lot of work, but it was kind of neat to watch how the different shapes are used. And so we can also talk about the shapes, the polygons. Um, I'm going to now, before I go any further, I'm going to let them talk to you about the process they followed. So Macy, I'm going to turn it over to you and you can talk, you and Olivia. And I'll hold your building up. Okay. You want to hold your building up? Sure. We had, we had a mess when we came back from Franklin. All these wires were tangled up. All right, girls, go. So we, our group did the Sears Tower. And first we had to, like, look up all the measurements of every single level because there are a couple different levels in Indian. So we had to find the exact measurements of all of those so it's, like, accurately to scale. And then once we did that, we divided everything. We did one meter to five centimeters for our scale. Um, so... Our technique first, we um, we glued down all these popsicle sticks on just plain white paper, and we made it, and we sort of overlapped them so that it was structurally sound. And then on the inside, we made sort of like T's, so it was like a straight beam up, and then beams out to the sides so that it it was like really sound. And then for every level, we had to put in a floor so that um, it didn't fall in on itself. And so we, did, we cut out each side for this too. So, and then we ended it and folded it until we got the right um, um, like the dimensions and everything. And you want to talk about like the display? I'll get it out. Yeah, this, 
It's right here. I'll get it. Here, you want to have the building for a second? This building took about like, an entire nine weeks to build, and we were in a, a team together, and we all took separate parts, and we had different jobs. And can you hold that for me? we had a presentation, and we made a background here for it. Like we looked up a picture online and tried to imitate like what the background would look like at like night, and we made like look like stars. And mm -hmm, we put the tower in the center. And then had its lots, so it looked like at night time. You talk about yours. Okay. Um, and you can see up there with some of the, the numbers that were being used. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can see some math being calculated. Keep uh, go ahead. You can, oh yeah. Wherever it is. Oh, uh, right there you can see we're one of the groups because the first thing they did when they researched it, and I brought you the packet to give you that they started with. It's Underneath that, I'll give it to you. But you can see where they had to cut out of graph paper, lateral views, front view, side views, top views. And looking at, so they had to, do, and also they had to redraw the bottom of it. And they put that on graph paper to begin with. Okay, and you can just see where they were draw, trying to draw out their buildings. Okay. Now, what we ordered before I let my, the winner's gonna come up here and talk in a moment. We ordered, these are all made from the same materials. We ordered enough glue guns for all the teams to have at least two glue guns. Uh, we ordered, these are all craft sticks, the same size craft sticks, the small and the big. And they all had access to either the small ones or the big ones. Um, they all got sets of lights. And so that was the materials and spray paint. Those are the materials that were used. And I think it's really interesting because these are windows. This group actually constructed theirs halfway up and then tore it up and started all over. So these two groups right here were actually not the first one they started out with. And um, if you look, this is all those window windows in that skyscraper. Okay, come on up and talk about yours. And okay, Mason's going to hold it. I didn't. My, I, my scale model is representing the shard in London. And uh, first off, I had to find all the measurements of the sides, especially the base, because our base wasn't a regular shape at all. And it took us a while to make that. And then we had to figure out its height in meters, and we did five meters is one centimeter. So I think it ended up being like 37 centimeters. But uh, we, well, this actually wasn't the first one we started with because ours fell down at first because we didn't realize we needed structural support. But then we had to go back in and add beams and things. And we, uh, each level has three layers of six because uh, it needed more structural help. <laughs> and then uh, we had a lot of difficulty making the top because of it was shape. So we ended up having it because it's like open at the top. So we had to actually like use like construction paper and the sticks to help it stay up. And after we built ours, we decorated it up a little bit to make it look more like it, like decoration of like Christmas time and things, what it usually looks like. Oh yeah, and then we have a display that's just got some more information about it and its creator and things. Okay. When they finished, they also had drills. So I forgot to say that we ordered small drills, and you can see where one group is drilling because of putting the lights through some of those. They tried to drill some holes so they could actually wire it. You can see it, can't you? Two minutes. I'm almost finished. Go ahead. This is showing you the kids working. Keep going. There's, there you are. There you are. And you can see this group is the one that did this one, and a lot of them did have to start all over. Keep going. See her building hers, okay? This is the group, see? See, they started out with, with file folders trying to build that shape. They started with that and then they moved to this shape, okay? So you can see the actual construction. I thought those were more insightful than anything. Keep going. That's the bottom of the Burj Khalif. You can see them building the frames. There's the sticks and materials. That's the inside of this building here. Okay, just letting you see some of them. Uh, 
and what I hope is that these students have now a sense of centimeters metric measurements because it's easier and more precise for us to use metric measurements when we're building these, especially because around the world, when you look at the dimensions, they're in metric. Also, we have a sense of the size you can see what they look like and we had a display and we had judges who came by and they were given score sheets and the students were scored on the actual design, how close the design was to the accurate, to the actual building. They had information lying out with theirs. Some of them, we actually had some of their first scale drawings somewhere with us. So 